this is a brief introduction to servo and proportional valves, uh, what they are, how they work and where they're used. Um, they're identified, both identified by this symbol. The difference between a directional valve symbol, the internals are the same here, is are these two lines which indicate the valve is proportional, so rather than opening from one side to the other, it opens gradually uh, and giving different flow depending on the position it's at, and that's control we may see as well the uh, arrow across the solenoid which shows it's a proportional solenoid um, it's moving gradually rather than just from one side to the other uh, so these are two common types of valves, um, this is a mobile slice valve and this is a sandwich plate industrial valve so the key thing that makes it proportional are these notches, we've got a round notches here and we've got angles tapers on the spool here uh, so that means it's not one flat land which is either open or close we can gradually open and we can restrict the flow as it opens uh, in the mobile valve you've either got a lever on the end these are with mobile valves it will be typically for um, excavator arms dozer arms so you've got gradual control you want the operator wants a little bit of um, speed control and smoother opening um, very often controlled by pressure reducing valves that apply a pressure against the spring on the spool in industrial it's generally a little bit different that you want to control a machine and cycles hundreds and thousands of cycles that need to be exactly the same so you would want to be able to control the speed and the stopping and the starting very accurately and very smoothly um, this is quite a complicated valve game. We've got a pilot up here controlling the pressure on either end of the spool and the position of the spool and then we'll have a, a position feedback. So there's a lot of e electronics here making sure we very accurately control the position of that spool. So we're going for accuracy in industrial um, very often. So let's just have a quick look at what they how they appear. What they look like this would be a mobile applications with hand levers uh, so the operator just moves those and has got good control of the position and speed of his equipment uh, this is a traditional servo valve performance really servo and proportional valves the top end proportional now are as good if not better so the term servo and proportional does get a little bit confused traditionally this has a flapper inside um, controlling the spool that was the traditional servo uh, this is purely electronic, so rather than a flapper controlling the feedback, um, we've got a lot of electronics. Um, and over here you can see uh, proportional valves can be very low cost these days. Um, pretty much all valves can have a proportional option, flow and pressure, reducing and relief. Um, so they may not look a lot different to a normal, normal directional valve or pressure control valve. So let's go now and have a little experiment. This um, this is directional. We can see there's no notches in the lands, and we've exaggerated what happens by uh, the roughness and the vibration. Basically, the reason you switch from, or one of the reasons you switch from directional to proportional, is because as you change direction, you get a lot of shock loading, you get a lot of noise, um, but you don't really want so if we were to uh, switch in a proportional spool with our little notches and we've got control of speed opening and closing we can now see a nice ramp so it's opening smoothly at set speed um, in this case we're not controlling the speed just the opening the acceleration and deceleration of the opening speeds uh, which give smoothness um, as we come here we might want to uh, control the speed as well in this case we can actually change the signal so the more pressure or electrical signal we give to our valves the more the valve opens which changes our speed um, essentially no ramp in this one but you can so you've got the two functions the ramp and the speed is the important bit to take over this now um, there are lots of different ways of achieving this, we won't go through them all in this 
presentation. But now we've got um, a typical industrial proportional valve system. So we've got four limit switches. And the reason for this is the um, we always want to stop in the same place. So when we change the load, that means this position we stop at, if we were decelerating from here, the slope of the curve would be different, so we'd have be stopping in different places. So by slowing it down at the very end, we can consistently control the position that we stop at. You'll note the speed still changes because, as we found out earlier, the uh, flow through a valve depends on its pressure drop across it, which depends on its low pressure. So um, we're stopping in the same position, whatever the loads on this system are. Um, we can also now change, you can have a little little play on this. You can set your limit switches. So we can um, click on this one and we can change the value we give at this limit switch. Change its position. And then when we uh, run it now, it creeps back for a lot further and a lot slower. So you can experiment with the loads and um, see the differences in performance. Uh, learn a bit, a little way to learn just to experiment and then you understand exactly what's happening in your system.